Hello, today we're going to remove the third row seat and replace a belt buckle on a Ford Expedition. This applies to model years 2007 to 2014. Just wanted to show tools required to remove the rear seat, the third row seat in a Ford Expedition. So to start you have to remove the shelf and in order to remove the shelf you need to use an 8 millimeter socket. Uh, it's down there a little bit of way, so I use an extension. Uh, you can do this with just a, a ratchet. This is just a 3 8 inch ratchet. I've got a, a quarter inch uh, just extension on there, adapter. Uh, I did end up using my power drill, just makes things a little bit easier. We will also use a 15 millimeter uh, socket. That There are six 15 millimeter sockets, uh, bolts that hold the seat to the frame of the, the vehicle. Um, you can use a, a socket wrench, half inch. Uh, I also, I, I use my uh, pneumatic impact. Uh, it makes things a little bit quicker. If you have something like that, go for it. Um, I will also see that we're going to remove the seat belt in this. Um, so to remove the seat belt, you need to use a T50 Torx bit. So to make this happen, there's a couple of moving parts here that we got to uh, take into account. Right now, I've got the seats all the way shut down so you can see I've got them folded down if you look fold up fold down they're all the way down right now what I want to do is pull this rear hatch off and that gives me access to my jack there so I also want to remove the shelf there are four eight millimeter bolts that hold that in uh, there's one right here there's another right here and then there's one that's down and another that's down there so what we'll do is uh, we'll pull those out first and remove this shelf divider all right so we're inside of the vehicle now the first bolt is here the others on the uh, the other side what we want to do is lift here and it's right right down here so we'll pull that out right now So the next thing that we need to do is flip our shelf out of the way. The bolts, the eight millimeter bolts, they will be under here and then the exact same opposite side here. Once all four eight millimeter bolts are removed to remove the shelf, you have to remove these three uh, just push pins. They hold the carpet to the shelf itself, but they won't uh, they won't release the shelf if you don't remove those. So we need to make sure to get those out of there. What I did uh, was I just pulled them out here. You can see on this particular one, I actually uh, kind of cut the carpet a little bit, but I did get the one in the middle and the one on the right hand side out. From here, we need to go ahead and pull the shelf out. Today we're going to focus on just the third row and we're going to actually replace the seatbelt buckle on the right hand seat. So the to remove the seats, to replace the seats, the process is the exact same for both sides. It's just 15 millimeter bolts. We have to remove the back two, so you can see here and then here for the right hand seat, here and then the same on the other hand for the, or on the other side for the left hand seat. There's also two 15 millimeter bolts on the front. And when we release the 15 millimeter bolts on the front, the seat will pop up showing us the additional two bolts. So there's six total bolts per seat. Let's go ahead and remove the back two now. At this point, I'm going to flip the seat up uh, to make sure that we have room to get to the front. Two bolts. From the middle of the cabin, we're going to remove these two bolts here as well. Ah! 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 
when those two bolts are removed, the seat then pops up and exposes the remaining two bolts. The remaining two bolts are here and here. At this point, the seat is free. What we want to do is replace this seat belt buckle. We had to remove the entire seat because there's not a lot of room to get in here and hit this Torx bit to replace that. So uh, we're going to pull this seat. You can see it's just completely free right now, which gives us that free range to remove that belt buckle. To remove this, we're going to use a T50 Torx bit. So this is the replacement buckle, but we need to make sure that this pin here goes inside of this hole right here. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Good to go. All right, we're back in front. So let's just go ahead and reverse that procedure that we just did. I'm gonna drop some thread locker just on here to make sure they don't vibrate loose. All right, we'll do the same thing with the front two here. So the seat belt did exactly what we wanted to do, folded down so everything looks good. So what we'll do now is just put the last two bolts in for the seat and we should be ready to rock and roll. All right, final two bolts in, so what we'll go ahead now and do is put the shelf back in and uh, button that up. Again, remember we're putting the four eight millimeter bolts in and then the three pins to hold the carpet. and then the two toward the back. And then the same one on the left side.
Only thing left to do is to put in the jack cover. Thanks for watching.